Hi, this is Dave for the Feedback Society. Uh, when I read a book about a musician or a band, I always like to get one of two things out of it. Maybe discover some new music reading about that I can check out after, or sometimes you go back and listen to the back catalog of that band or that artist, uh, and after reading their book, generates a new interest in the stuff you've heard a lot before. And that happened, both of those things happened, when I was reading George Clinton's Brothers B.O. Like George Ain't That Funkin' Kinda Hard On You, his uh, memoir that came out about a few months ago. Um, lots of good stories in here, lots of good photographs, crazy tales of the P-Funk tour, uh, and his encounters with other artists. Uh, but really, reading this book made me realize how much music I listened to when I was younger, uh, that George had his fingerprints all over and I just didn't know it at the time. Uh, case in point, my Red Hot Chili Peppers days are, are way, way behind me. But uh, after finding out from reading that book that George Clinton produced their album Freaky Styly back when they were really a, a pure funk band, uh, hadn't really gotten into their heavier sound yet, um, made me want to go back and listen to this album and lots of other things. There's a selected sampleography in the back too, which is kind of a nice appendage to the book um, after reading it, right, reading about all the stories of uh, samples that George didn't get paid for and tried to recoup uh, royalties from over the years. Going back and looking at all the music that came from those Parliament Funkadelic records uh, makes for a really good read and lots to search down after reading this book. So yeah, check it out. Brothers, be yo like George, ain't that funkin' kinda hard on you. Cheers. <laughs>